All right. Hello, everybody. It is midnight, which means we are going to be starting the stream now. We're here today with Mom's Basement Games, bringing you some more standard Magic Arena action with a Simic Flash list that we're going to be running. So, our list today is just pretty simple. It's a standard Simic Flash deck. We have four Spectral Sailors, a single Oct, three Unsummons, two Syncopates, four Brineborn Cutthroats, four Merfolk Tricksters, four Essence Scatters, two Negates, four Sinister Sabotage, and then four Night Pack Ambushers and four Frilled Mystics. Got all of our lands here. And then in the sideboard, we got a Veil of Summer, three Aether Gusts, two Negate, two Mu Yang Ling, the Sky Dancer, Thrashing Brontodon, Shifting Ceratops, Vivian Reed, and two Entrancing Melodies. So what are we trying to do with this deck? So essentially, all we're trying to do is to play lots of counters and get in with some creatures that are going to get pretty big or that are going to widen our board. So that's what Night Pack Ambushers for uh, making our board go wide. Get a bunch of wolves. They all get pumped. If you have two ambushers out, it's kind of insane because your two two wolves are four fours and both your ambushers are five fives. Anything past that I haven't seen yet, but it's been pretty insane just getting two of those boys out at the same time. Frilled Mystic, putting a 3-2 body on the board for countering spells, or for countering a spell is pretty good. Uh, Sinister Sabotage, we get a Surveil, so pretty much just a Scry into the graveyard. And, you know, other than that, just the generic counter for the deck. Essence Scatter, because lots of decks are just creature-based in this format right now. Two Negates, for any non-creature spells we might run into that we want to counter. Two Syncopates, pretty versatile if we have lots of mana open to work with. Um, can play really well, you know... X equals 1, if we have like another 2-mana spell in hand, we want to cast that turn. Or even another 3-mana spell. Syncopate has some flexibility there. Unsummons to either save our creatures or remove annoying creatures from our opponent's board. Just a single opt for filtering. Spectral Sailor, it's a 1-1 one, one body for 1 that we can flash in. That also draws us cards later game. Uh, Cutthroat's 2-1 for flash that gets really big when we uh, cast stuff on our opponent's turn. Trickster to tap and remove effects from our opponent's creatures till end of turn. And then pretty much just everything in the sideboard that we could need for certain matchups that would grind us out normally. So, we actually have queued up right over here a traditional constructed league. So we are going to go ahead and hop right in that boy. Alright, and I hope everybody is having a fantastic we're not gonna say great we're gonna say a fantastic wednesday night tonight i know i am and hopefully i will continue to have one let's get a get a 5-0 going today that would make me happy so waiting our opponent to choose who will play first so probably them all right i was playing some uh some practice games earlier today when i was at work and I'll tell you that a no lander is definitely not going to work here. So let's mold that back. That is also not going to work. Oh my goodness. We're going down. All right. Putting two on the bottom. Temple of Mystery. Thrilled Mystic's too slow, so we're going to put it on the bottom, pass back. Man, this was brutal. Okay, we found an Essence Scatter. That gives us some dirtling time here. Merfolk Trickster. And this is a good thing about a deck anyway, is like we're stalling. Like, we're, like, late-game action in this deck, so... Um... Do we want to counter this? I think we should just apply some pressure. Counter, counter, counter. We'll be drawing more cards anyway. There's Negate. So we have Trickster Negate if we need both of them in a single turn, plus Unsummon. Honestly, 
We're not in a great spot, but we're not in a terrible spot either. Another Hintland Harbor. Pass back. Our mana's looking fine, so let's just draw some, uh, you know, game-winning creatures here. Thought Erasure. We're going to negate that all day. Might as well. It's not like we're doing anything else with our mana. We have enough to cast every spell in our hand currently. Play a forest. Pass back. And just making them think that we have more counter magic that we're saving for them is like a really effective strategy with this deck. People are terrified of this deck that they just have infinite counters, which, you know, with any control deck is really never the case. But um, we want to use that fear that our opponents are going to have to our advantage. So this Thief of Sanity is definitely getting sinister sabotaged and then i'm gonna throw the trickster in the yard <clears throat> it's not really helping us out in this matchup too much right now but we find an island and we'll pass back all right pass 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 go to our turn Spectral Sailor. Okay, now this is looking a little bit better. This is going to get us some draws going on. So on their end step, we'll flash it and activate its ability, probably. That's going to be rough to deal with. There's an essence, uh, essence scatter that we could have used. I don't know what we're going to do about this uh, Nightfell Predator, except maybe get them on the defensive. But this is rough for us to beat. There's playing some weird Grixis deck that I've never seen before. Okay, we're just going to start taking three. Return Spectral Sailor to the battlefield. Opt. Sinister Sabotage on the bottom. We don't really need it right now. We're stacked with counters. I really want to find one of our wolves. Syncopate to the bottom. I think if I can find a wolf, we'll be okay here. They have eight cards in hand. I don't know what they're on right now. Yep, we'll counter your creature. And we'll take three. Okay. So I really don't know how we're going to win this one just because of this Night Veil Predator. Main board, we don't really have a lot to deal with it. Sideboard, we will, but main board is a little rough. Um, let's flash in a Trickster just to kill the Chupacabra. So we'll take three down to 11. I don't know what our opponent's game plan is here. I 
We'll essence scatter that. Yeah, and then we're gonna spectral sailor. Activate. Okay, cutthroat is definitely good here. That can let us start to apply some more pressure of our own. Bonus thinking. So we're going to go cutthroat. Go X is two. Counter on the cutthroat. Counter bolus. We'll take another three down to eight. Activate the Sailor, draw a card, go to our turn, play a Harbor, draw a card, pass our turn. Having Essence Scatter up for their turn, probably good. Uh... Let's just see what we get. Yeah. Sailor dies. So we have a two a two turn clock. Yeah, we're gonna essence scatter that second predator all day. Man, we flooded pretty hard here. Let's see, we have, yeah, eight. Man. Oh my god. Okay, we're okay with Morris. We like lose next turn anyway, regardless, so. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, and that is not enough. Brings them down to six. I think there were a couple more turns, sadly, where I could have been more aggressive, and I wasn't, especially with that Spectral Sailor. And I don't know if that would have actually made the difference here. I don't know what our opponent's doing here. This flexing to flex. There we go. Okay, yeah. So, not terrible. Not a terrible matchup at all. So. We want Mu. And. We want Ceratops. Then what do we want to take out? Maybe just two tricksters. Or just all of our tricksters. I don't think they're that great here. Let's just run it back like that. I think us starting out with uh, five cards in hand there was also not very opportune as far as our uh, chances of winning went. Yeah, so we're going to be on the play this time. Oh, okay, we'll keep. We have the cutthroat, which is maybe enough to get us there. Hopefully. Turn one, bringing pool tap, pass. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, turn two, island pass. We're flooding, this is great. Cutthroat on your end step. Oh, geez, OP. Okay. We've drawn nothing but land so far. Not great, but let's be on that aggro. Make him think we have something. Uh, 
Okay, so we've drawn nothing but land with a uh, hand that started with five, so this is looking up and up as the seconds go by. Yeah, we're going to counter that. Counter the spell. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave him back. Yep, I'll let another scoundrels hit the battlefield just in case something that we can't block actually comes into play. Play a forest, which is like our fourth or fifth land drawn and pass. Opponent's thinking. Yep, exiles are cutthroat. This is great. Oh, man. We'll block and kill a scoundrel so we're not taking eight damage. We get two treasure tokens, which aren't really helping us because we're just going to draw another land anyway. Oh, man. Take another four. I think if we draw another land, we're pretty much just doomed. Yep. Yeah, negate's not really good enough right now. We need an answer to block the scoundrel. Yep, Liliana. Our opponent's just playing some janky Grixis deck. Sweet, there's another land, so we're just going to scoop, because there's no way we can win. So what, we had 13 lands out of... I think there's 24 in the deck, so we literally drew over half the lands. Not very great for us. All right, our opponent's going to choose who gets to play first. Probably them. All right, this hand's looking a lot better. I'm probably just going to slam an untapped breeding pool on turn one to get a spectral sailor down on turn one. Hit our curve. Yeah, definitely want to with this trickster and us being on the, the draw. This deck loves to be on the play, and it seems like I lose every coin flip whenever I'm playing. Yeah, we'll flash in a sailor. Play a harbor. Go to combat. Hit for one. Get in those beats. Pass back. I think next turn we'll play Temple of Mystery. We'll just tap her down. Put that land on the bottom. Hit for three. Just keep being aggressive. We have Thrilled Mystic online next turn when they can cast that Doom Whisperer.
I'm just gonna unsummon the resplendent angel to just do like undo their turn. And we'll pass back. Take our three. I don't know what they're flashing on an end step. Oh, they're just gonna mortify our sailor? Okay. I mean, that's whatever. Play another Hinterland Harbor. We found every copy of it in our library. We were just drawing so many lands. We'll return it, just so they have to discard. There we go. We can counter it when it comes down next turn, too. We also should have attacked last turn but I don't like thinking when I play magic. Okay, I think we're back on the aggressive here. I like this. And I have enough mana for Frilled Mystic and Sinister Sabotage next turn. Uh, if we play Frilled Mystic, we almost just win. We would have just won if I had actually attacked with Trickster on my last turn. We'll Sinister Sabotage here. I'm okay with keeping the Mystic up, because we don't win next turn anyway. Drawing another Mystic is great, because I can go double Mystic mana next turn. Yep, I'll counter that all day, baby. And pass back. We pretty much have this one in the bag now. They can't really cast anything that will get them out of this. Wah. Kind of your angel. And they concede. Okay, so I didn't. that one wasn't looking too bright at first, but we actually ended up getting there. So, what to bring in against a Kalia deck? Hmm. I like Entrancing Melody, and I like Vivian. I think we should take out a couple Ambushers. They're good, but they're not great, because their entire deck pretty much has Flying. And... Negate also seems pretty useless here. Let's run it back like that. Take a sip of my La Croix. Refreshing as ever. All right. And we are back to the next or round of our match. Uh, and this hand looks pretty okay, so we're in deep. Ooh, isolated chapel tapped. Weird. We'll leave a spectral sailor on top with a cutthroat. Woo! We're looking at some fire.
Okay, Bishop of Wings. Seems like a pretty fire play. We have Vivian to take care of some angels, though, if we need to. Hit for one. Sure thing, dude. Main phase two. Wouldn't be surprised if a resplendent angel came down right now. We're not seeing anything, so let's go cutthroat. We see a cast down or something like that's okay. Just rip it out of their hand right now. We don't. Mistake on our opponent's part. Yeah, like, I'll let it go. That's cool. I don't want Vivian to be gone, so I think I have to Sinister Sabotage this. Essence Scatter definitely stays on top. Yep, there's the Resplendent Angel I knew was going to come down eventually. Um, so I can get it off the battlefield in a turn, and you can't activate it next turn. So I can just take four here. Like, I'll take my beats. Thrilled Mystic. Counter this one so I can start blocking the Bishop of Wings 2 after I... Kill the angel with a Vivian. Land for turn. Play Vivian. Minus three. Kill the angel. And fire. Not dead yet. Because the spirit's not enough to kill Vivian, so we should be good. This leaves us open for this one turn, so they can do whatever the hell they want right now. But I don't think there's anything crazy they can do that we can't deal with. Okay, another resplendent angel. Okay. Uh, I've seen squirrels hit harder. I've seen things that would break someone like you. I think we actually just want to take an island here. I can go with that. Um. I only have four lands, so I think I actually just want to pass back for now. So I think I'll just unsummon the angel and then counter it. Yep, Vivian takes a singular damage. I'm a survivor. We're scared to cast the angel. Good for us. I'll activate here. Because I don't care if they really get one of one of our creatures in response. Plus a Vivian. You can't stop nature. Grab a trickster. Breeding pool tapped. Pass the turn. So I have six lands, so I can go cutthroat trickster essence scatter. Yep, I don't even really want to... Like, ulting the Vivian would be nice, but it's not like I need to right now. Ah, strike me, and you strike nature. Cutthroat. Essence scatter. Go to my turn. Harbor. Plus the Vivian. No one knows the wilds like I do. Grab an ambusher.
Pass the turn. I'm actually really curious what happens if I hit Gideon with Trickster. <laughs> Share in my light. But I'm probably just going to hit Bishop with Trickster on their end step. So I can just kill Gideon on my next turn. Or I'll hit Kalia. Um, do I just draw? Or I think the right move here is to cast Trickster. Tap Kalia. Go to my turn. Temple of Mystery. I guess we just leave it on top. We probably should have plussed Vivian first, because I'm going to do that now anyway. The wilds are my shield. Grab Frilled Mystic. Let them know we have a threat. Attack. 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 Just get rid of this Gideon. I'm not playing around with it. They'll probably just let it go. <laughs> sure, you want us to be able to get rid of your spirit? Let's do it, bro. Yep. Gideon's almost triple dead. That's okay. I'll make a 3 3 wolf and pass back. I'll chump block Kalia here. I'm not losing it. Counter Lyra. Balance comes. Grab an ambusher. Send the boys in. Deal some damage. They're down to 12. And before combat, we'll just tap down Kalia, probably. This is pretty much game. Oh, they hit the Kaya's Wrath. I thought about that like as soon as I cast that ambush, uh, ambusher prematurely. I was like, what if they had Kaya's Wrath? Wouldn't that just be funny? That's okay, though. We got another cutthroat. We'll pass back. Flashing cutthroat. Sinister sabotage. Put a counter on. Surveil. Leaf Frilled Mystic on top. 
opponent probably has another spell here. Clarion. That's okay. Plus our Vivian. Meet my newest friend. Grab a cutthroat. Pass back. We still have half our library left. And we're pretty much just winning. Play cutthroat. Go to my turn. Plus Vivian. You can't stop nature. Grab a mystic. Yeah, and this is pretty much locked down. Activate this sailor once, and our opponent's seen enough and they're scooping. They're scooping. Probably know that we are just going to beat them to death slowly. Okay. So, up a match, down a match. Could be worse, could be worse. Go back in for match number three tonight. All right, and we are all set. Let's get in there. All right, and we have the choice here. So, we are going to be on the play. Wow. Wow. <laughs> um, we need to find two lands to make this work. But this is Counter City, so I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, because we risk it for the biscuit here at Mom's Basement Stream. Let's put that on summon on the bottom, and cross our fingers that there's another land on top. There is not, so we're going to pass. Oh, God. Please, next turn. Find a land. Opponent hangs with that search for Misconta. Would have felt great if we had a negate for that. But we find a land, and we'll pass back. So they're going to start filtering. This card is brutal. Puts us on even more of a clock than we should be. Grixis. Okay, I see you, opponent. We're going to pass. We do have to discard a ambusher, I think. Which just pretty much tells our opponent what we're on right away. I think this deck should be running Search for Iskanta, maybe. I don't know, it's creature-based, so I guess that doesn't make too much sense. Flash and a Sailor. Sweet, we're finding forests. Not really what we want here. But we'll attack. Haha, -ha, now we're winning. Yeah, if they really want to bedevil our 1-1 our one -one here, I'm okay with that. I'd rather save our negate for something scary like a bolus. Which is exactly what we're going to use it on right here. Uh, bringing pool. We pay the two here for sure. Pass. Because if they're too scared to play anything, that's cool. We have Frilled Mystic and Sinister Sabotage if they do. And if not, we just flash in Ambusher on their end step. They have a Thought Erasure, so we're going to Mystic. Counter the spell. If they have a follow-up play, it's just a Narset. So we kill the Narset with our Frilled Mystic. Or not. Okay, we're not even looking at drawing extra cards here, so that's honestly super okay with me. You cannot see your follow really thinking about their search for Escanta trigger here. To play a God Eternal Kefnet, so we are going to Essence Scatter that. Goodbye. They're gonna minus two Narset. I like to see a desperate Narset here. They find nothing complete with. We're gonna attack, bring them down to 16, and pass back to them. 
They have an Escanta trigger. I think we're almost at a point with them where it doesn't matter if they flip this Escanta. Like it's not going to bring them, like, way ahead. We see an Ugin. We negate Ugins. Alright. Three to the face. Pass back. Visconta activates. If they put one in the yard, they get to flip it. They're at 13, though. It's not looking too great. Bullis discountered. Opt in the yard. Back to our turn. Combat. Punch your face in. Pass back. They could flip his Conta this turn. I'm okay with that. It's going to be really hard for them to win with a uh, activation of that every single turn. We're just going to counter Chandra. They're going to activate Escanta. Trickster in the yard. Back to our turn. Pass back. I'm weirdly okay with this bolus. Yeah, that's okay. I have other schemes to attend. Let your weak minds crumble. Flashing an ambusher. And our opponent scoops. Because they are dead on board. All right, Grix control. Um, I like negates. I like entrancing melodies. And I like ceratops. This is this is. Take out an ambusher and a mystic. Um, and take out. Run it back like this. See how that works. All right. Hope everyone is enjoying so far. I like uh, Simic Flash a lot. I like these really. Like, the controller of the deck, the better I usually am at piloting it. And this deck just feels, like, supernatural to me, so I'm actually having a blast playing it right now. Oh, this is, like, perfect. Sweet. This is a slam keep. Cap land pass. What if I told you I was going to tap land pass? Ooh, thrilled Mystic. We already have some four drops. I want to hit some lands. We'll put you on the bottom for now. I need some more action pack draws. Thought Erasure. I mean, that's whatever. There's not. This isn't a super easy pick. Probably Cutthroat or Ambusher. kind of useless to try to whittle away at our counters when we're a counter-centric deck. We already have five cards in hand. Sweet. I'm okay with this. Okay, so they took what I think is the wrong card. Personally. 
but I am not my opponent, so I guess I can't speak on that too much. Yeah, they need to play the extra land on tap because of Syncope. Well played. We'll pay two life for this breeding pool. Hit you for two. Down to 14. Pass back. I mean, sadly, your life total... You shouldn't be playing with too much against this deck, I don't think. Like, they just know anything they cast right now is getting countered, so... Yep. Um... Syncopate for two. Pump our cutthroat. Pass back to us. Green pool untapped. Hit for three. End the turn. Escanta throwing a duress in the yard. I'll just flash in an ambusher because I don't really care past that. I can take a counter or a ceratops. Yeah, and they kind of know it's over from here. So, that was a pretty easy win. <laughs> I like that. Get back in here. Ooh, earned a pack and a mythic. Biogenic ooze. Hooray. I actually needed some more of those. I forget what for, but I just remember that I needed some, if you had asked me earlier. So we're running it back for match number four. We're up two games, down one. So we're doing pretty decent right now. If we get a choose, we're going to be on the play. And this hand looks perfect, so we're going to keep it. We have everything we really want here. It's a little slow, but if we hit a basic land or a shock land this is online and then we're kind of golden from there so i am super okay with this right now all right yeah, we're gonna go temple of mystery chill harbor on the bottom pass by flashing a spectral sailor on our next turn if we get an untapped land we'll just flash and cutthroat instead Staying ahead on our curve here is really important. Yep, so we Hintral and Harbor tapped. I might just actually opt. Just to ensure we find another land. Because if I go Cutthroat then Sailor on our next turn, if I don't have to counter anything, that would be cool. Especially with this Amara, it makes it so they can't attack with it. Bottom draw. So get a Syncopate. We find an Island, so I'll go Island. Pass the turn. Like, I'll let them make a token here. I'm not trying to get any, like, super-duper combat tricks out right now, because Cutthroat would still die to Amara if I pumped it once. History of Benalia, I'm not actually too scared of, because I can grow Cutthroats bigger than that right now. So I can just go Cutthroat Sailor again if they don't do anything. I think that's pretty funny. Like, we're at 18 right now. We can play with our life total a little bit. Vinalia. Counter unless you pay one. We also have another Spectral Sailor, too. And now we have a 4-3 Cutthroat. What one mana spell do they have? Is it a... Oh, Venerated Loxodon.
I'm just going to tap down one of their knights. Yep, that was a rough trade. Let's pass back. Like, if we can whittle down their resources, though, like, that's just how we kind of got to grind them out. Yeah, I'm going to Frilled Mystic this. She's gone. Mix act on our turn, I guess. I think they should really activate this Angel of Grace's ability right now and help us out. That'd be great. Okay, they have four lanes, two cards in hand, one card in hand. Sweet, now it's Argo. Pass back. So now we have enough to Cutthroat Sabotage. So we're going to start growing some more Cutthroats. I like that. Seven, six Cutthroat. Resolve the Paradise Druid. You can have all the mana you want. Dang, okay, so they're pretty much just at a stalemate with us right now. And we have a night pack ambusher, so we're just going to start growing wider than they can. Cast ambusher, and that's pretty much GG. As far as our opponent's concerned, because we're going to grow way wider and bigger than they can now. And our hand is just mono counters, so. Even if our opponent found an answer, they really can't do anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep passing, keep making wolves. We're doing fine here. Looks like they have another venerated Loxodon. Or March of the Multitudes. Thank you for tapping your board for us, opponent. Oh, another night pack ambusher on top? Don't mind if I do. Let's with those two boys. They're going to take all of the damage, so they're down to eight. And turn. Make another wolf. With this other ambusher, there's not a lot they can do here. They're going to go back up to ten for a gain two. But we're, like literally like two turns with two ambushers, we're going to go super wide. I just need to watch out for a March of the Multitudes. But nope, they give up. The March of the Multitudes is the only thing that, if they did it after we ambushed, that could have been bad for us.
Hmm. I was trying to think, what should we bring in against token? I honestly just think we should run it back. I don't think there's a lot we can sideboard here. We don't have a lot of answers in this deck for uh, the go wide plan. I might as just rushing our ambushers out there first and going wider than they can. All right, punk sideboarded up, so we are all set to go back in for round number two of match four tonight. Opponents deciding if they want to play first. Want to let us go first? That sounds like a great idea to me. I'd like that. I would like that very much. All right. Boom. Great hand. We're keeping this. Opponent starting off with a turn one Lanawar. Get your ramp on opponent. Uh, yeah, we have enough we can do where I'm okay with leaving a temple on top. Because we're not going to play it next turn, we'll play an island. Because we have so many counters here. Yeah, and they don't even have anything to play, so. Island, pass the turn. If they're just going to land, swing with the uh, elves, I mean... I'll just Merfolk Trickster eat it. What if I countered that, sir? Ooh. Yeah, let's Hinterland Harbor pass. Like, I want to use these syncopates first, but now it gives us more option to use either syncopate or sinister sabotage. Flash and cutthroat. Do they have counters in their deck now? I guess they're banned, so they could. Yep, and absorb. Sure. Cutthroat gone. Temple of Mystery. Essence Scatter, leave that on top. I'm here for the long game. If we can just lock them out, that pretty much secures our victory. Ooh. Untapped land? Do they want to be able to cast a spell with counter backup? It looks like it. Ugh. Oh. Teferi the Terrible. I mean, I'm just going to make him shoot this absorb so we can have a trickster on deck. Oh, or it's a veto, yeah. Cool. No matter the counter spell, I need to be, be able to get this Teferi gone as fast as possible. Trust me, I have a plan. Yep, put the Trickster into play on our main phase, because Teferi is literally the worst card in any kind of matchup we could have right now. Lyra. Yep, that's going to be hard to get over.
going to get two tricksters for two negates now that I know they're going so heavy with the counters. Paradise Druid. Argo. We'll go... Mystic. Save the trickster for a swing. There's a chance if we get to ferry off the board, we can recover. I've got it. Because we can unsummon Lyra and then counter her. We're in a good spot. Like, our opponent knows we have tricksters, so they have to have a creature in hand, or we kill Teferi. Unless this is a counter. But we drew another trickster, so that's okay. Kill Teferi. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah, that was, let's just move on to the next one. This one's not going to go too well for us. Let's take out Op and a Trickster to put in two negates and run it back like that. Our opponent had kind of a nut draw there. Like, every counter they needed to have, they did have. Which, like, good on them, but not good for us. Alright, we're going back in. And we get to be on the play this time, which should help, too. Um, honestly, this hand is fine. We have Negate and Essence Scatter, which is all we can really ask for, starting off. Two Ambushes, which are like our main win conditions right now. And an Unsummon. If they manage to get something down, we can Unsummon it. And then Essence Scatter it. Okay, and they're taking the mulligan. Are they gonna mull mulligan again? Mulligan in 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 in. Nope, just the once. I'm gonna pay two just in case they have a turn one elves. I kinda wanna unsummon it and then just reset their first turn. Okay, let's find a blue source deck, please. Paradise Druid, let's not let you ramp. Pass the turn. Oh my god. We're already getting mana screwed. Come on, deck. Just one blue source. Okay, but our opponent's getting mana screwed, too. So Spectral Sailor will come down. And we draw Spectral Sailor number two. We'll swing for one. End our turn. Opponent? Still ma mana screwed, please? Nope. Okay, Gr Glacial Fortress tapped. Let's bring in any other sailor. Okay, we are still heavily mana screwed. I'm kind of pissed. That's okay, though. Opponent with the history of Benalia that we are going to automatically counter because we cannot afford to let our opponent let things touch the ground. We are still not drawing lands. Oh my god. Come on, deck. At least we're getting them down to 15 with these sailors. With our 1 1s. Okay, well, this one's going to touch the ground because I can't do anything about it.
bounce that to your hand. Pendulum Harbor, there we go. Oh my god, finally. Pass back. If we can just land these ambushers, that's going to be great for us. Oh, five mana. Sure, show me your Dovin's Veto. I know it's there. Maybe it would have been safer to Merfolk's tricks, Merfolk Trickster. But I think we're still okay. I know my responsibility. Teferi's dead if he minuses. Just force him to plus. Make it so if he minuses Teferi, it's dead. We'll take four here if we really need to, but... Jade Light Ranger, weird inclusion, but okay. Locks it on on top. Yep, no blocks. What's your Teferi doing, opponent? I mean, you can add the Ambusher back to our hand if you want, but that's not doing a ton. That's more like it. Do we have a counter? We do. So no wolf making yet. We have a lot more of a chance this game than we did that last one, though. Teferi is literally so brutal against this deck, though. There's not a lot we can do there. Okay, we should be good now. Yeah. Because if they counter this, we're still good. Yep, they're going to absorb it. I'm fine with that. We're going to Trickster. This is hardly my worst defeat. And now we're pretty much set to start winning. It seems like a weird statement when they have a full board, but, like, they really can't afford to start attacking. And they're going to anyway, so... Cool. Yep, we'll go down to three. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> this next uh, ambusher is going to give us... A pretty good advantage here. If this is a counter, we're kind of screwed. But, I mean, that's magic for you. Uh, clear board, save ours. Oh, opponent. This is like I said, all the wreckage, I'll cry. That's game. Oh, Xaxes. Down to zero. 11 damage. We stole that win right out from under their noses. We exactly the card we pretty much needed to have to win there. And we get a boatload of prizes. Oh, three wins right now. 
one loss. Let's keep going. We got we got the gravy train right now. Let's keep the gravy train rolling. See if we can get a five one. Simic Flash just proving its power in the meta right now. All right, we're gonna be on the play. We're gonna mulligan this crappy hand and keep this slightly less crappy hand. Let's actually get rid of the forest. We don't need our unsummon ready on turn one, I don't think. Our opponent deciding if they're going to mulligan or if they're going to choose a single card to put on the bottom. One of the two. All right, opponent. Taking your sweet, sweet, sweet time, I see. Alright, there we go. Temple of Mystery, tapped. Breeding pool, I'll leave it on top. Make that under tap, pass back. So we're playing against Mono Red. Scorch Spitter number two and Scorch Spitter number three. So I'll just bounce back this one. Pulled off the wave of Spitting Scorches. Night Pack Ambusher on top. Let's get two of those bad boys down. If we start ambushing, there's not a lot their Scorch Spitters can really do. Cavalcade of Calamity. I like this. They're going to be dealing, what, six damage this turn? That's pretty cool. Pass back. We'll take another six next turn, but we'll be able to block and kill one of them. Fanatical Firebrand. Okay. Okay, so we're just playing a Cavalcade of Calamity deck. So we're taking ten damage here. We'll go down to four. That's brutal, man. I guess we'll block a Scorch Spitter. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, man. I think we... <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to survive. Oh, my God. If they have the full play set of Firebrands, we're just dead. Oh no, we're just dead because of the uh, the Scorch Spitters. That's hilarious. Okay, yeah, we'll go to the next one. <laughs> Opponent with the nut draw of three Firebrands with a Cavalcade of Calamity and three Scorch Spitters. Holy cow, can you talk about a nut draw? So what do we want? I like Aether Gust and Negates. Uh, Trickster's meh, Opt is meh, and Filled Mystic is like a little too slow. Let's run that. Let's see if our opponent gets a nut draw like that again. Oh, I love this hand. We're going to keep this hand. Opponent deciding to take the mole or not. Because as long as we can stop Cavalcade from hitting the battlefield, we have a chance. So, like, this negate is just pretty much Cavalcade back up. Opponent taking five and a half years to decide if they are going to keep their hand again. Okay, we get to take our turn. Hooray. Island. 
pass the turn. Opponent. Thinking. Land. Scorch Spitter. More flashing. Spectral Sailor. Island numero dos. Pass back. If we see a cavalcade right now, we'll slam in a gate. Yeah, sure. Uh, you can light up the stage. I'm not too worried. I'd rather get this cutthroat down and start pumping it so it's impossible for them to kill. I'll pay two here for this breeding pool. Dropping an ambusher here early game is really going to be key to our victory, I think. Land. Can't play both of them. Sad panda bears. I'll negate this lightning strike because they can't play cavalcade this turn. Flash in this Spectral Sailor. Get a 4-3. Now we have enough to actually cast this Ambusher. Okay, this is looking good for us. Negate. Make a 5-4 Cutthroat. Play another Scorch Fitter, okay. Draw a Trickster, sweet. Legion War Boss, okay. Flash an ambusher. Pump the cutthroat. Central and harbor. Pass the turn. Make a three, three wolf. I should be attacking the spectral sailor, but I'm just a big doof. Um, sadly, this cavalcade has to hit the battlefield. So in response. I'll tap down War Boss and make him lose all abilities till end of turn. I'm just gonna start swinging for the fences after this. Yeah. I'll beat the brakes off you before you can beat my brakes off, bro. All right. Uh, kill us this turn or your super dead opponent. So we take three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Probably gonna mentor, yep, his goblin. Sure, down to 11. Yep, there they go, they scoop. And I like how that worked, so we're gonna run it back and see if we can get them again in game three. Oh, shh, why don't we bring in Thrashing Brondon, the thing that can literally blow up cavalcades once they've already hit the battlefield? Okay. Whoops. That one's entirely my bad for being a, uh, just complete doofus, I guess. All right. Great hand. 
keep. Opponents mulligan in. Land, Scorch Spitter, or Fanatical Firebrand. There you go. Island. Pass. Opponent. Swinging for one. You know, light up the stage again. Nope, gonna shock. I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with that. Let's use our Murfolk Trickster up here. They'll Lightning Strike it, that's whatever. They'll light up the stage again. Land. War Boss. We'll Hinterland Harbor. Pass. We can S Scatter Spectral Sailor. Yep. Essence Scatter. We'll take two. Flash and Sailor. No blocks. Our go. I hope they just kill our Sailor with one of these Firebrands. Cavalcade of Calamity has to be countered. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. In response, probably going to kill our Spectral Sailor. Nope, okay. Like I said, as long as we can keep the Cavalcades off the battlefield, we're looking great. Um. Yeah. Let's just save our Sailor. If you literally want to pop both your firebrands for this Spectral Sailor, oh my god, that's that feels great. Keep the aggro deck off their creatures. Please. Alright, we're gonna pass. And like if they're not doing anything special. Um Yeah, we don't gain life, so go ahead. Someone gets hurt. Oh, why didn't we cast that on their turn still? What the hell? My assistants are painfully sloppy. Oh, there comes a Capoclade. Why am I such a dumbass? Yeah, because now we have to Sinister Sabotage. Oh, man. Cutthroat on top. Pass back. We'll go down to 10. Flash in our ambusher. Go to our turn. Combat. Kill Chandra. Ugh, training is so hard. 
hard. Make a wolfy boy. Cutthroat. Cutthroat. Nope, let's just keep making wolves. They can't deal with infinite wolves. Um. Yeah, war boss hits the battlefield. Somehow our mono red opponent has way more lands than we do. But we're going to keep making way more guys than they can. Woo! Night pack ambusher number two. Don't mind if I do. Flash and ambusher number two. Pump our cutthroats. Profit. I mean, he's finally going to pop this last card that's been in his hand this, like, entire time. Uh, sure. Kill one of our cutthroats. Attack with three or four, four wolfy boys. Opponents down to eight. I'm gonna end. Make two four four rolls. And opponent scoops. Man, four wins. Game that was match five in the books. Getting tons of stuff. Get some Dread Horror Twins. Heck yeah. All right, last match. Win or lose. See if we can get 5 1. I always do really well when I'm like, I want to go to bed early tonight. That's usually when I get like these cool records. <laughs> Almost like every time. I swear to God. That's okay though. Who 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 uh, doesn't like being able to play magic this well? Cutthroat and two ambushers, sure. Let's keep it on a whim. Oh, our opponent. Are we on the mirror, ma uh, mirror match here? That'd be funny. The opponents just lay and go. It's probably the mirror match. Oh no, Incubation Druid. Hello, what are we playing? I'm interested. What's coming down this turn, opponent? They probably know what we're on. Okay, they're playing Bant. A Krasisy boy. All right. Draw a card, gain a life, make a 2-2. Two -two. Well, I'll play a forest and pass back, opponent. What you got? Yep, I'll take two. Pump my cutthroat. Make another cutthroat. Pawn has a counter? Or are they just gonna adapt? Yep, 
Yep, they have a frilled mystic. I'm totally fine with that. Waste it on my cutthroat instead of this ambusher that's going to be coming down. Pay two. Pass back. They have six mana available to them right now. Are they going to activate? Okay. How about we flash in a night pack ambusher in response? And then take five. Land. Pass. Make a wolf. We can almost kill his incubation druid if we just cast a spell. Main phase two, Lanawar. That's cool. Anything else, opponent? Seven mana. Yeah, land tap. Two cards in hand. They're thinking. Ooh, they're thinking. Maybe a crisis. Voracious Hydra is going to be countered. Put a counter on a cutthroat. Our turn. Temple of Mystery. Cutthroat on the bottom. I'll swing. If I can bait them into double blocking, that would be cool. But I can't. So I'm just going to pass back. Make a wolf. Our board's getting big. They're swinging for two every turn, so we just need to start hitting back. Okay, they'll pay, play a Paradise, Paradise Druid. We'll take two. Play an Ambusher? Ooh. It is on now. Sailor on top. Combat. Four, four, six. This is pretty easy for us from here. Especially with the Spectral Sailor. What's in your hand, opponent? Because we have counter spells for days. They're thinking. Big crisis, more like big counter. GG's. All right, on to the next one. So we are playing Bant Ram. Whoa, oh, Black Betty, Bant Ramp. Entrancing Melody. Really good. Shifting Ceratops. Pretty good. 
Vivian Reed. Uh, I'm not too hot on Vivian, actually. Not that high mana cost. Thrilled Mystic, take one out. Let's take out two. And then we brought in Trancing Melodies. So let's bring out Tricksters. And run it back. I think that should be okay. We are not keeping the one lander. We will keep this all day though. And put Um let's put one of our sabotages on the bottom. Turn one Lanor. We will Temple of Mystery. Leave Spectral Sailor on top. Untapped to fairy. All right, sweet. We're already getting hosed. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Play a trickster because it's probably going to get bounced anyway. Yep. That's whatever. Man, turn two to fairy is just so brutal against us. Trickster and Sailor. It's a little bit harder to get over. Trust me, I have a plan. I don't know what else our opponent is kind of thinking about here, but shifting Ceratops. Big yikes. I think it's just funny because we also brought those in. And then as long as we can keep just dinking this Teferi so it can't do anything. Oh, yeah, that's right. Land where else generates mana, doesn't it? Weird how that works. Okay, this one might be more brutal than I thought originally. I'm hoping they just play a big crisis, because if they do, we can steal it right now. Here we go. We can start making wolvie boys till then. Yeah, I just hope they take a they make a really big crisis. No, I am not making this up as I go. Why wouldn't you just return our ambusher? But okay. Come on, just make a really big crisis, dude. Another shifting ceratops? Oh, a Nissa! It would be a Nissa. That's okay, though, because our wolves technically block their lands. They'll run out of lands pretty quick if that's their game plan. No blocks. Gonna pass because there's nothing really we can do with this Teferi on board. That's this deck's main problem, which I'm lucky we didn't run into until literally just now. And I think our first game we ran into Teferi too. It's just that it gets hosed so hard by Teferi, so hard. I'll protect you. No big crisis. 
Send the big crisis, please. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna take our five again. I think they win if they just swing all out. Oh, we'll play our shifting ceratops. They can kamikaze each other. a bad idea. Man, I wish we had a better way to get rid of Teferi. So I think another ambusher would let us stabilize enough to win right now. Okay, here comes the crisis. I feel like once we steal that, we just win the game. Woo. When the land speaks, I shall listen. Another Nissa. Yep. The land fights for us. Let's try this. I don't know why he tapped all of his lands to do that, but okay. Yep, let's move on to the next one. Yeah, turn two to fairy. Brutal. Brutal, 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 brutal. Um. Moo might be worth it. We take out Opt. I think entrancing all these bad because I did they take out Crisis? I don't know. I think if we take it out, we'll figure out that they actually didn't. We're on the play again, which is good. Let's take out an unsummon. They're not really doing a ton here. All right, whoever wins this next game wins the match and goes five wins. We're going to play first. We are going to mold this, and we'll keep this. Yeah, we're definitely keeping this. I'll put Field Mystic on the bottom, because I just want to have our early curve up. Yep, keep another Sinister Sabotage on top. The plan is literally just to not let our opponent resolve spells. Lanawar. I mean, they're trying, if they're going to try to cast a Teferi again next turn, we have an answer in the gate. Okay, just a Paradise Druid. No Teferi yet. Cast a Spectral Sailor. Island. Swing for one. Pass back. All 
Probably going for a Nissa. Shifting Ceratops can't be countered. Yep. Haste hit us for five. Sweet. Hopefully this will distract them for a turn. We need to find an answer for shifting Ceratops quickly. Moo is dead. Goodbye, Moo. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Yeah, that just came for us. I can't. There's no way we're getting over this with this hand. Our hand pretty much relied on counter magic. We shot it down for a turn to try to stay alive, and sadly, that's going to do it for us today. But we got another feather. How did I not already have a play set of those? Some gems, because I already had one of the other wild cards that we won, and 1,700 coins. Puts us at 3,000. We had a couple packs that we won here, too. We have three that we're waiting on. So let's open these bad boys up and see what we get. Ooh, Teshi. This is great. I want some more of these because I want to try to get forced somehow so we can try to buy escape shifts. Safara. All right. And that is going to do it for today's game. Let's pull up the deck list right here so we have something to stare at while I'm talking about fun. Mom's Basement Games Magical Promotions. So, yeah, Magical promotion stuff. This is time where I'm going to plug into you guys watching on YouTube right now. Subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. Comment with any fun ideas, questions, or things that you noticed that I punted, because I am the king of punting, and I like to know where I messed up, because I think it's actually kind of funny. Um, other than that, if you don't follow us on social media, you should really do so. We have Twitter. Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram, so make sure you find us on one or all of those platforms. Give us a follow, subscribe, like, whatever the heck they do on each one of those platforms. And then other than that, we do have our TCG Player Storefront, where we sell cards if you are looking to buy paper singles for the game. And the only other thing I have to plug is our cool new website, momsbasementgames.com. We have some sweet Basement Dweller swag there. So if you're looking for like a hoodie, t-shirt, polo, we got you covered. We'll physically have you covered in cloth with our logo on it. We'll imprint you forever and you will be trapped. Uh, we take part of your soul uh, as payment for said clothing. Um, other than that, make sure you tune in for our weekly scheduled programming of streamers five days a week. And we are trying to find two new streamers too. I believe I'm actually moving over to the Saturday slot pretty soon here. So I think that means we'll be looking for a Monday and a Wednesday slot or new streamers for the channel. So if you think you have what it takes to be a basement goblin like myself and the others, feel free to hit up Mr. Joshua Warren on any of the social media platforms I just talked about. We are Mom's Basement Games on literally every single one of those. And other than that, have a great one. Hope you enjoyed the content, and maybe we'll get that five win next time. All right. Peace out, y'all.